Welcome back to Flipping. We're doing statistics. This is, as you can see, chapter 9 in your 7th grade green textbook on page 179. We're going to talk about statistics and measures of central tendency, centeredness, mean, median, and mode. So um, again, on page 179 in your textbook, you can follow along in your unit 4A graphing and analyzing data packet. So one measure of the center of data or central tendency is the mean. It is the sum of the data values divided by the number of data values. So it's the true mathematical average. So to find the mean of a set of numbers, you add them all up and divide by how many there are. And you can see in this example, they've added 12, 34, 56, 78, and 90 divided by 5 and got the average to be 54. Doesn't always come out to be a whole number. I would like you to do the even number problems here on page letter number one. So um, take a moment, pause the video, do uh, questions number two and four, please. And then we'll check those in class. On the next page, find the median of a set of data. Another measure of center or central tendency, as it's called, of a data set is the median. It is the middle value of the data when the data are arranged from least to greatest. You could arrange them greatest to least. Generally, it's least to greatest. So find the median of the values 48, 34, 56, 28, and 60. First order the values from least to greatest. Okay, 28, 34, 48, 56, and 60. The median is the middle value. So some people like to, you know, cross off from either end. I don't like to do that because I want to see my original data. Sometimes I'll just put like a dot, highest, lowest, and keep working towards the center. And I can see that, yes, 48 is the middle value. There's an odd number of items. So you will have an exact middle. It's like having five children in your family. The third child is the middle one. Find the median of the values 26, 15, 9, 85, 70, 31, 44, and 6. So again, order them from least to greatest. Since there is an even number of values, you'll see that if you start with highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, and you kind of mark them off. Uh-oh, now I'm going to have two middle values. So whenever there is an even number of data points, the median is the mean of the two middle values, in this case, 26 and 31. So add those together, find their mean, divide by 2. So you get 57 divided by 2, which is 28 and a half. So the median is exactly halfway between 26 and 31, which is 28 and a half. And like the page before, I would like you to pause the video and to do the even numbered problems, please. So do number 6, 8, and 10. Put those in order. Find the middle value, the median, and we'll talk about that in class tomorrow. Next page. Drawing a frequency table and dot plot. Frequency tables and dot plots are used to organize and summarize data. The data show the number of hours spent by 20 students in preparation for a final examination. The data can be summarized in a frequency table. Now, usually I have, you know, your data, what you're keeping track of, and usually there's a tally column here and then your total frequency or number of times that that appeared. So if I was taking these 20 students and putting them into a frequency table, I would do it as so. No, I'm not going to scan. Oh, okay. How many threes? Let me see. How many threes do I see in this data? I'm not going to keep scanning all 20 numbers. Truly how a statistician would do this is they would say, oh, there's a five, and I would put a tally. A six, put a tally. A seven, so I'm going right through this data here. And again, I don't like to cross them off, so sometimes I'll put a dot above them. A seven, 
a 4, a 7, another 7, a 12, a 3, a 9, and a 6. So I've got the first 10 pieces of data on my frequency table. I'm going to go on. An 8, a 6, a 7, a 5, a 3, a 7. Oops, that's the fifth one. So generally you would, when you have the fifth one, you're going to cross through that. And it doesn't matter if you diagonally cross from left lower corner to upper right or vice versa. Um, uh, th uh, no, I'm on this five. Eight, seven, and nine. So now you can see these numbers adding my tally marks. There would be two threes, one four, three fives, three sixes, six sevens, two eights, two nines, no tens. However, it is listed in the table because you cannot skip numbers in between your value, your data values. So I can't skip 10 and 11 in the table. I can put a zero here. Zero for 10, no 11s, and one 12. Um, and then you're going to create a dot plot. And again, um, notice that the number line is not starting with zero. However, they could have started this number line with zero and gone over to like 14 or something. It doesn't have to start with your exact lowest data value and end with your highest data value. So you're putting a dot equally spaced above to match the number of tallies or the number of students that you have for how many hours that they study. Notice there's a title on this graph here. So two students did study for three hours, one for four, three for five hours, three for six, six for seven hours, two for eight hours, two for nine hours, none, don't put anything, don't even put a little line down at 10, nothing, um, nothing for 11, and one person studied for 12 hours. So I would like you to do that same thing. I'd like you to create a frequency table, data, tally, frequency, that's usually how it's labeled, usually what is your data. So you could say, okay, it's the number of hours studying, tally, and usually this column is labeled frequency. You can say number of students or misspelled number of misspelled words. Um, so you're going to do, or in this case, you're going to do number 12. In a game, each child is given 10 balls to hit at a moving target. The data shows the number of hits scored by 20 children. Um, I like to make sure, which I didn't do here, I want to show you this. On my frequency table, when I'm done, I like to add up my number, my frequency, so to make sure that I got all 20 and that I didn't skip from my values up above here, from my data, that I didn't skip one of them. So it says that there are 20 students, so I'm going to count down or add up my frequencies. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. And 6 is 15, 17, 19, and 0 is 19, and 19, and 0 is 19, and one more makes 20. I like to put a total at the bottom of my frequency table. Did I get all 20 data points in my frequency table? Yes. Then I would go and make my dot plot, but this one was already done for you. So please do that. Be careful that you have all 20 students in your frequency table before you make your number line to, and your number line should be equally spaced, equal tick marks. You can see that they've created equal spacing here on the number line. So please do that. Use a ruler if you need to. And uh, you're going to do number 12 over onto page IV, page 4. And we will go over that again in class. And that's it for today's video.